All right, I just want to do a little video here to show how you adjust a PWM. We've got quite a bit of people wanting to know how you adjust these things. Basically, we're out, uh, it's cranked up all the way. So what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to pull the cover off of this uh, PWM. And uh, I'm going to show you where the adjustments are here. Bear with me, I'm not very good with the camera work. Anyways, we're going to pull off the cover. You're going to see inside that, uh, so if I can get the camera up there, a little closer here. Might be a little hard to see. you got three adjustments here. The first one here is your frequency. Your second one is your limit. And your third one is your duty cycle. The main one you're going to want to mess with is going to be your uh, current limiting, which is the center one here. What we're going to do here is I'm going to turn the camera over here so you can see the uh, volt meter, amp meter. Um, basically, the first meter there is your voltage input, and the other meter over on the uh, right-hand side is your output voltage, and of course, the bottom meter over there is your amperage. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this down a little bit until you start seeing the amperage go down. We'll turn it quite a bit because these are 20-something these are turn pots on there. So let's get it going here. Okay, it should start going down here in just a second. We'll start seeing the duty cycle show up there. Okay. See, we're going to set this thing down to about, uh, let's go 30 amps. Get it to stop here at 30. See, we got a little bit of spike going on, but that's what the uh, capacitor does there. Basically, what's going to happen here is in time, as the cell warms up, the voltage, the 12.01, is actually going to go down. Um, your input voltage should stay the same. Um, could fluctuate a little bit depending on the car's alternator, stuff like that. But uh, basically, that's all you need to do is just mess with that center adjustment and. Uh, you uh, should get it to work properly. Like I said, there is a duty cycle. You basically just turn that until it just goes down. The amperage goes down just a little bit, and then you back it, turn it back up just a little, and that pretty much sets the unit. But uh, that's pretty much it. As you see, the voltage is still going down. I've had a couple people want to see exactly what's going on in this uh, PWM. Uh, basically, what we do is we put the capacitor, diode, MOSFETs, of course, everything's inside, and what we want to do is just keep all that cool. Um, it seems to work a little bit better, keep all the components cool. But anyways, well, I just thought I'd do a short little video. Uh, if you guys have any questions or whatever, go ahead and email me. Have a good day. Bye.